G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I will be going over how I went in round 12 and then giving you my round 13 AFL tips. So let's jump straight in and see how I went. So starting things off, I got um, Melbourne over Carlton. It was a 17 point margin, but uh, I thought, you know, 24 points was around the right sort of area. A um, little bit less than what I expected, but um, look, still, you know, I thought it was a pretty good game, to be honest. Like, I thought Carlton were pretty brave in it. Um, yeah, good. You know, solid game of footy. Uh, got the tip right, so that's uh, that's even more positive. Next up, we've got Port Adelaide over the Hawks. Took this one as well. This one was an obvious one, but I didn't. I think it was like 105 to 23 at half time. Like that was mental. Um, I got the tip right, but shout out to Hawthorne for making it close. Well, closer. It, it could have been. I, re, I honestly thought it. Uh, Port Adelaide were winning this one by 130 points. The way it was looking, I thought they were absolutely going to dominate. But uh, yeah, good. Uh, Bloody fly. Now, good, good win there for Port Adelaide. Really good win for them. Like, I think that really cements them as a top four spot this year. So, yeah, huge win there. Um, I think the little bit of a comeback from Hawthorne, you know, they're probably a little bit disappointed with that. But uh, still, all in all, good win. Uh, took Collingwood to beat my Eagles. I will say um, positive things for the Eagles, though. Like, they got back in with, like, I think it was like 40 to 56 or something at one point. And I thought, I'll tell you what, they, they might make this a game. But uh, look, the fourth quarter, Collingwood just ran away with it. Um, shout out to them. Too strong of a team. Um, still pretty proud of my Eagles, though. Like, it was a huge effort. And uh, yeah, look, I, I'm hoping we can take a little bit of confidence off the back of that game. Uh, next up, Western Bulldogs. I took them to beat Geelong. Um, Geelong had been struggling, and I didn't think they'd win this game. Hey, they proved me wrong. Good win there for the Cats. <sighs> I was disappointed. I thought the Dogs would get it done, but they just didn't. Um, to a lot of people's disagreement, I took the Suns to beat Adelaide. Look, over there in the Northern Territory, man, the, the Suns, they're a different beast. And they were outstanding, in my opinion. They, they look really, really good, like... Man, it's so tough. The, the, as I say, the NRL is so close, but the AFL is just as close. Like, it's it's been entertaining. It has been very entertaining. And, uh, yeah, shout out to the Suns for a good win there. Uh, next up, I took the Giants to beat Richmond, and this was the game of the round. It went down to the last minute. I thought it was going to end in a draw. I really did. But uh, to Richmond's credit, they got the job done. A really good goal to win the game. I was, yeah, it, it, it was a great game of footy. I thought Richmond definitely deserved to win it. But uh, the Giants were really good too. So great game of footy. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Wish I'd uh, tip Richmond now. But uh, hey, it is what it is. And finally, I went with uh, Essendon to beat North Melbourne. I thought Essendon would win this one by a little bit more. But North Melbourne? They put up a fight, so shout out to them. Very, very close game. Uh, very good game of footy. And uh, yeah, five out of seven. Not too bad. We move on to round 13, though. Um, and, you know, this is where this is where we need to start seeing some bigger results. I'd like to go a perfect, um, I think there's nine games, eight games. I'd like to go a perfect eight from eight, but... Uh, it's hard. It's tough. It's tough. This, this bloody fly is doing my head and I'm telling you that right now. All right. So starting things off, we've got the Swans against St. Kilda. Now, 74% of people are tipping the Swans. I. It's tough because the Saints have played all right this year, but there's also been games where I've been really disappointed in them. Um, they're coming off a bye, I believe. I, th I think the Swans win. I think the Swans win. I don't think it'll be. Um, I don't think it'll be a big win, but I think the Sw I think th think the Swans will win. Uh, next up, we got Western Bulldogs against Port Adelaide. Look, this is a game that I think the Dogs can win, but Port Adelaide is just on too good of a roll at the moment. I think they get the job done there. I I, I can't see the Bulldogs beating them at the moment. I really can't. I know it's at Marvel, but. Port Adelaide have proven they can play at Marvel. 
and they're looking really good this year. They really are. Hawthorne against Brisbane. Brisbane win this and win it well, in my opinion. That's a no-brainer. Um, Adelaide versus my Eagles. <laughs> I'd love to tip the Eagles. I really would. But at Adelaide Oval, I think this is going to be an absolute flogging. Uh, Fremantle against Richmond. Look, I think Richmond, can, this is another game that can be won by Richmond. I really do believe that. But at Optus, I am backing Frio there. Uh, we've got North Melbourne against the Giants. Now, I, I honestly believe North Melbourne can... can cause an upset i really do but i want to keep going with it with a good week of tips so i am going to tip the giants in this one but <laughs> i reckon this might be an upset this really might be uh, next up we've got carlton against essendon uh this is tough um at the mcg you know both teams have really got a chance to win this game Colton, if they want to keep their finals hopes alive, I think this is a must-win game. Uh, same for Essendon, to be honest, because, I mean, Essendon are on 28 points, Carlton on 18. But, like, you look at the teams below, like, if Adelaide, say, Fremantle win, um, my sons aren't playing, I don't think, no. But, like, you know, some of these teams win. Essendon can drop. They can drop potentially out of the top eight. So that's crazy. That is insane. Um, but I'm going to tip Carlton. I think Carlton get the job done. I think there's, you know, Carlton, they've had a lot of um, criticism recently and well-deserved criticism as well because they were expected to make finals. Um, a lot of people had them in the top four, which I think is wild. But, yeah, I think they need to win this game. And I think um, I think they will. I do. I really do. And then next up, we've got Melbourne against Collingwood. This game is always a cracker. Uh, I think it's going to be extremely close. I am going to tip the, well, technically an upset. 21% of tips is a tipping Melbourne. I do think Melbourne win this one. Um, but Collingwood have been playing some amazing football, so you just don't know. Uh, all right, margins. So obviously 17 points there for the Swans. <coughs> Apologies. Uh, Port Adelaide against Western Bulldogs. I'm going to say a nine-point win there. I don't think it'll be a blowout. 32-point uh, win for the Lions in this one. I'm going to say a 58-point win for the Crows. Um, I'm going to say a 18-point win for Fremantle. Um, Seven-point win for the Giants. I think this is going to be an absolute cracker. Uh, I'm going to say a three-point win for the Carlton Blues. I'm going to say it's a very close game as well. And then I reckon a six-goal win, a six-point win for the Demons. I think it's going to be go right down to the wire. I really do. All right, guys, drop down in the comments who you're tipping and why. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in, and thank you for your support on the AFL tips. Like the support I've seen over the last few weeks has been phenomenal. So thank you so much for that. Uh, but that is going to wrap it up for me today, guys. Thank you all so much once again. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.